What's up, YouTube? If you want to learn how to make a trap melody like this, then like, subscribe, and stay tuned. Once again, welcome back to the Birdhouse. Today we're gonna to be cooking up a trap melody from scratch. So I'm gonna show you start to finish a simple workflow to make a trap melody in FL Studio. As you can see, we don't even have the DAW open yet. When you open it, it's gonna open up to a basic screen like you'll see here. So as you can see, it opens up to this template. There's a lot of things about this template I don't like. It starts you off with bad drums. It has a limiter on the master. We're just gonna get rid of that. What I recommend is that you work from a template if you go over to File under New from Template, you can select any of the templates that you've made in the past. If you want me to show you how to make a custom template from scratch, let me know down in the comments and I can show you how to do that. It's real easy. What we're gonna do for today is use this empty template. So it's gonna open up with nothing on it. So as you can see here, it starts from the channel rack. This is where you're gonna be building the majority of your beat, at least initially. Um, what we're going to do is add an instrument by clicking on this plus sign here. And since we're using stock sounds, we're just going to go to FL keys to load up a piano. One of the things I like to do a lot is use my typing keyboard as my keyboard because in FL Studio, that's really functional. So up here, there is a keyboard to piano keyboard icon. If you can see it here, if we turn that on, then our keyboard plays notes instead of being a keyboard. We can also set this to D and then minor natural aeolian. So every key we play with the keyboard. It's in scale. So you can't hit any wrong notes. You won't make any mistakes. We're also going to open up the piano roll, which you get to by right clicking on your instrument. I'm going to go to piano roll. And we're gonna go up to this arrow in the top left of the piano roll, click that and go down to view, and then down to scale highlighting. And we're gonna put it in the same scale, minor natural aeolian, and we've got it in D. So now our notes are snapped to the grid, uh, or snapped to the scale, as is our piano roll. So everything we're seeing is what we're playing. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just put the tempo at 150 and then we're gonna start building a simple melody. Uh, you'll hear me mention this a lot, but in trap beats especially are these single note intervals. So here you see one where there's a single note with no, uh, no separation between those two notes. There's another one here. So those are notes we can use a lot in trap music because they sound good, they build tension, they help make the beat work. We're just going to add variation as we go through. We want it to be repetitive, but not exactly the same. And then let's go ahead and copy these notes and move them up an octave. I just hit copy by command C, paste was command V. And then if you hold command and hit up arrow, it moves up an octave. I'm going to slide those onto the grid to match with the other notes. And then to double it, since I have everything selected here um, in this section of four bars, if I hold Command and B, it'll move everything over so you can just take what you have and duplicate it over. I'm going to take these last two bass notes and I'm going to drop it down a fifth. So one, two, three, four, five. And then this one is going to go up one note. So again, we're using that single note interval to create tension. Let's hear the whole thing. drop the velocity down a little bit for the bass notes, a little less. I'm going to select all of these top notes and I'm going to hit Option and R to randomize them so we can adjust the velocity. It sounds less robotic. 
right, cool. That's a good starting point. Let's add another FL keys. So hit the plus, go to FL keys again, and let's add some chords. We're gonna right click, go to piano roll, and basically build off of the same notes. So I know that these notes that I'm already using in the chord progression are gonna work for me. And I'm gonna utilize, you guessed it, that same single note interval again. Let's move that up. And then let's make these match what we did in the other melody. So we're going down a fifth and up. One note from there. We're gonna select all and randomize the velocities on these chords as well. Let's go ahead and add a pad to this as well. So staying with the stock sounds, I'm gonna go to Sakura, which is part of the FL library. And we're gonna click here in the middle and go to pads. And I'm just gonna choose this first one, pad a kind of pipe. Yeah. And we're gonna go to the pad, or excuse me, the chords that we created and we're gonna put those exact same notes on the pad. Sounding pretty good. Um, so let's go ahead and run these three pieces to the mixer so that we can mix on them a little bit. Um, just to explain that a little bit, uh, you might have noticed me using this icon up here that's gonna bring up the channel rack. We can get to our playlist over here, our piano roll, the channel rack again, and then to the mixer. So you'll be using all of these icons at the top a lot. Um, right now we're at the channel rack and we want to highlight these three columns on the right hand side here, and then go to the mixer, select track one where we want our routing to begin and go channel routing, route selected channels starting from this track. So now we have one, two, three right here. And then we're gonna highlight them. I did that by holding command and dragging to the left. And then I'm gonna right click on this arrow at the bottom, route to this track only. Now everything is playing through insert four. Uh, we're gonna rename that Melbus and let's make it pretty. All right. So adjusted the levels a little bit. Now staying with stock plugins, I'm gonna go to the Fruity Reverb. Let's put the wet all the way up and then I'm gonna adjust it from here. Uh, I'm gonna use this multi-band delay as well. I like this Ver Spectrum Morph and then I kind of adjust the mix here. Let's put an EQ on it, cut out a little bit of the lows. All right, cool. Let's add a bass to it as well. So I'm going to move over this one so that insert four is over again i did that by holding option and then using my arrows so i can move any one channel or groups of channels around in the mixer and then i'm going to back to my channel rack i'm going to go to sakura again and let's use one of their bases um that 
it'll probably work. Uh, and we're going to send this to four piano roll, and then we can just use these same bass notes. All right. And actually, I want them to play like every other note on these first ones. All right, we're on to something here. Cool. So now, since we've built this loop in the channel rack, which has all four parts playing. They're all coming into the mixer. We've got a bus built. Let's go ahead and arrange this melody in a way where it's ready to add drums to and ready to become a full beat. So if we come over to the playlist, which is this top left icon and this group of icons here, uh, over on the left-hand side, you'll see all of your patterns, which right now we just have one. We're going to hit we right click and then we're going to split by channel and it's going to give us all four of our individual parts. If we set these over here, we can start to arrange the beat. Uh, again, if they're highlighted and I hit command B, it'll duplicate whatever I have highlighted. So it'll duplicate it all or whatever you want. Um, and then we can just start to add in parts and take parts away to see what works good for intro, verse, chorus, etc. And we're going to want this on song now. put the bass here too for just the second half cool uh, and then now that we have everything sectioned off like this we have some again more flexibility so i'm going to drag all of the parts of the melody i'm actually going to take the bass out because i'm thinking i'm going to use this for the verse um, so let's keep this where there's a full section for the chorus all right yep and then we're going to use this one here and then i'm going to hit command g to group these together and I'm going to hit on track five. I'm going to right click on this gray block and hit consolidate tracks from song start, cut remainder, wave file, 32 bit float. And that's going to render out an audio file from that group together MIDI that we just created. Chop this front off, hold shift and chop, bang. All right. And then we're going to double click in there, right click in this audio file below and hit edit and audio editor. And I'm gonna go ahead and add my same settings from the last video just to kind of mess this one up so it is different from the full bodied part of the chorus and see if that creates the dynamics that we're looking for for the verse. Yeah. There's a little click rolling from one sample to the next. And then we can arrange this simply. We just have an eight bar chorus, a 12 bar verse, an eight bar chorus, 12 bar verse, 
an eight bar chorus, and then we're gonna do an outro. And so now it's ready to add drums to. We have a three minute long, you know, three minute and 10 second long beat, intro, chorus, verse, chorus, verse, chorus, outro, everything built out is ready to take to the next phase. Um, so if you want to see me add drums to this beat, like and subscribe for part two, because I'm definitely going to be doing that in the next video and showing you simple ways to add your hi-hats, your clap your snares, your percussion, your 808s, and make sure everything matches the beat so that it sits in the pocket, has that trap vibe, and is, again, always the end goal, something that you could give to a rapper and they'll be inspired to rap on. So I hope you like this. If you're a beginner to FL Studio, I feel like this will be really helpful to you. I was a beginner to FL not long ago. It's really actually a fairly new DAW to me, but um, if this was helpful to you, let me know down in the comments. Let me know what type of beat you want to see me make next. If you got any other ideas for things you'd like to see me do on this channel, I'm all ears. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe. Share this with your people. That helps me the most. And uh, keep tapping in because these are coming every Monday. I'm not stopping. I hope you like it. Thank you for coming by the birdhouse. I'm going to play the melody and let y'all ride out.